Dow is up 58 points. It's at 27,240. NASDAQ Composite, it's up about eight tenths of a point to 81.95. And S&P 500 up four points to 3,013. Duncan goes all in on coffee. Duncan Brands is making a huge bet on coffee. It's all part of a $100 million investment in its U.S. business to become a key player in coffee, not just in the Northeast, but across the nation. That spending went to upgrading equipment, including new espresso machines and revamping store design. The new design also includes more room for mobile ordering and cold beverages on tap. Duncan is looking to get into the coffee big leagues with the likes of Starbucks and McDonald's. Well, folks suffering from peanut allergies will be paying attention to the FDA committee meeting today. The agency's Allergenic Products Advisory Committee will be discussing and making recommendations on the safety of a new peanut allergy treatment. Now, the treatment, Palforzia, is designed to help reduce the severity of allergic reactions after accidental exposure in patients between the ages of 4 and 17. At the start of the trial, all patients had a reaction to just a third of a peanut, but after about a year, 67% of those on the treatment could tolerate about two peanuts uh, compared to 4% who were on placebos. If approved, it would be the first FDA-approved drug to treat peanut allergies. And another new study finds kidneys from donors with hepatitis C are safe and effective for transplant. Prior to last year's most he hepatitis C infected organs were transplanted into patients who already had the virus. Since then, nearly three quarters of patients who received infected kidneys had no history of hep C. And the results have been good. Researchers say these kidneys function just as well as uninfected organs throughout the first year. Chris? A man uses a golf cart trying to get away from the police. We're going to find out if he was.